Morning. Morning. It's Wednesday, the 20th of December. Weather today, it's going to be, it's a little bit misty out there now, actually. Some fog patches expected again. And across most parts of the county this morning, it's going to be a little bit dull and overcast. And we will see some showers compared to the last couple of days. But the temperature is still quite mild. We're looking at temperatures of about 12 to 14 degrees again in most areas. What's going on? Uh, not much, how are you? I'm good. Uh, it was really mild again yesterday. Yeah. So much so that um, my heating, my um, radiator is a home run, a timer. Just yeah. turned it off yesterday. Yeah. Didn't bother with it because the house was roasting. I like was the same. Morning. I turned it off last yeah. night as well. No point. We're pretty mean, you and me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, tight. <laughs> uh, I've been taking a look at the papers this morning, Andrew. Um, just like the last few days, a lot of sad news in the front pages yeah. of our papers uh, at the moment. Rosie strangled after seeing burglar's face is the horrific headline in the Irish Independent today. And this is the death of pensioner Rosie Henry who was found dead at her home uh, last week. So Gardino believes that a burglar strangled her mm-hmm. after she saw his face. How horrific. Um, also on the front page of the Irish Times, more on the inquest into the deaths of the Haw family. Uh, last year, Alan Haw left note asking that he not be forgiven is the headline in the Times today. There's more on the University Hospital Kerry saga on the front page of the Times as well. A high number of out-of-hours tests were carried out at the hospital last year um, in other similar and in similar hospitals across the state. According to the HSE, they're doing a review of that now. And uh, more of those same stories in the front pages of the Irish Examiner as well today. Haw driven to kill by fears for marriage is the headline there. And this is an interesting one because Deirdre was talking about organised begging or professional Mm -hmm. begging on Talk About a couple of weeks ago and how there seems to be more of it going on in Kerry, particularly in Killarney and Tralee. I've noticed it as well myself. Yeah, I've seen them, Um, And it says here in the Irish Examiner today that um, a senior Garda in Cork has confirmed that people are actually flying in from Romania to take part in organised begging in the city in the run up to Christmas as well. I think I saw something yesterday at the the end of a day recently. One of them had 650 euro. It's actually frightening. It's more than most of our listeners probably get in a week. But anyway, frightening money. Uh, the top trends across Ireland this morning. James McLean and Paul Kimmich are trending because Kimmich believes that McLean didn't deserve the award last Saturday night. McLean is, is of course, in the most James McLean way, has responded on Twitter. Okay. Uh, and he said, um, Kimmich, and then in brackets, some journalist. Um, and he's oh. basically lashed back out. So. I wouldn't take Paul Kimmich on. Yeah, well, he has done. I, I listen, <laughs> nobody's going to win that except Paul Kimmich. <laughs> um, uh, he, so they're trending this morning. Sean Gallagher's trending. Uh, his uh, long-running dispute with RT was settled yesterday. And uh, homelessness. There was a, a programme on RT last night yeah. about the homeless crisis in the run-up to Christmas and where homeless people, families in particular, will spend the next week or so. Uh, that's also trending this morning. We're at five days shy of um, Santa. Five? Five days. Five days. Yes. Uh, and we're also one, we're a day away from the shortest day of the year. So from tomorrow, the days will start to get longer again. Brilliant. Um, also, on the show this morning, I, do you know Love Actually? You've seen Love Actually? Yeah, of course I have, yeah. Um, I would like to tell you this morning, if you're interested. Yeah. You know Claudia Schiffer is in the movie? Yes, okay. It's been revealed this morning how much she got paid for her cameo. Now, if you can think of the movie and think of her her, her bit in it. Yeah. It's very short. Yeah, as in, course. like, we're talking not even a few minutes. God, I thought when they did cameos like that in, in big movies... I thought they were just doing it for the thrill of being in a movie. Not according to the papers this morning, anyway. Oh, for God. She added nothing <laughs> to Love Actually. Do you like Do you like Love Actually? I love it. That's one of my. It probably is my favorite Christmas movie, and that's a big statement. It's very sweet, isn't it? That's yeah, lovely. Yeah. Very sweet. Yeah. Yeah. No, I do. I like it. And unrealistic. Uh, and bonkers. Yeah. And crazy. Like of course. Like I mean, of course, you're going to see the prime minister at some point go to a school play and meet the love of his life. Could happen in Ireland, I suppose. I suppose it could happen. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll tell you about that in the show this morning, and also, by the way. Um, I have some tips for parents. If you're going to be driving, like you're not going to Wexford over Christmas, are you? Uh, or do I you know yet? I'm not sure. I might, yeah. Well, I'm after finding this morning as well, um, 20 tips for parents who are going to be driving long journeys with the child, especially a young child. Okay. So uh, it's supposed to help the journey Sleeping go that tablets? pretty little quick. <laughs> 20 <laughs> no, tips? No, I only know one. No, Those all. Nothing that, that extreme, but uh, I'm sure plenty of parents going, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the whiskey, the we'll go do that this morning oh, as well. I didn't say that. I was joking. Um, Ed Sheeran has only himself to beat for the Christmas number one at this stage. Oh, for God's The bookies sake. now are saying that Ed Sheeran and Eminem Ed Sheeran and Beyonce <laughs> and Ed Sheeran and Andrea Bocelli are the three favourites to yeah. be in Christmas number one. It's mad. like, And you know, he, he said on the Late Show last Friday night that he wrote that bit with the Eminem song. He's, he's that written for years. Really? For, for, uh, on the off chance that he ever got to work with Eminem. And he also said he's written a Bond theme as well if they ever come asking for it. He oh, has one done. Oh, they probably will. Yeah, so. Um, are you an Eminem fan? I am, yeah. I always was. Peanut or chocolate? Peanut or chocolate? Oh my God. I didn't get that for a second. 
Anyway, um, we're just going to ignore her after that terrible. Com- oh, by the way, speak, speaking of I, terrible, I do, I do really like Eminem. Speaking actually, of terrible too. jokes, I have more yeah. Christmas records for you this morning. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh, and uh, would we give a prize on on our video, our far video? Yeah, I, I have an answer to a question which we can who's ask on, on my the radio. Top? No, who's in? Oh, yeah. Who's yeah. in his top? Did we ever reveal who this is? I think we did. You did say it, yeah. Shade. Shade, yeah. You, you did. You think you did? Because a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people kept saying Rihanna. But it's not Rihanna. No, and Camila Cabello, who's playing oh, in the yes, background. Oh, yes, who's playing in the background, yeah. Um, the answer is to spend less money. All right, what? what was the question? I haven't given the question. Oh, sorry, Orish. We'll, we'll, we'll give the question on the radio later. Okay, the answer is to spend less spend money. Spend less money. That's the answer. So listen out for a question that could... Uh, say that again? No, it's not my New Year's resolution. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, to spend less money, though, is the answer. So we'll ask a question on air this morning. And if you get that correct answer, if you text that in to us, Uh, you could win yourself a prize this morning. Right, music-wise, Demi Lovato, Taylor Swift, Christmas music, <laughs> all on the way over the next couple of hours. Let us know what you'd like to hear. Comment here, your favourite Christmas song. We're running out of time to play it. Yeah, get on to us now. Um, and have a good day. Morning. Bye.